hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel so i'm back again with another tutorial and in this time i will show you how to set up a mysql db cluster in docker so before jump into the tutorial let's discuss some benefits of using a db cluster so if you want to create a high available scalable and fault tolerant application architecture then you should also think about creating a database cluster because if your uh, application uh, works fine if your so other services like redis or rabbitmq is working fine but if your database is not working fine then um, you, your application is not actually scalable so you need to think about uh, also database cluster so there are some benefits using a database cluster so particularly in terms of scalability flexibility and fault tolerance so you can actually horizontally scale your database if you create a db cluster so this is crucial for handling increased workloads uh, for your growing application and for high availability uh, and fault tolerant uh, you will also get the benefits suppose you have the db cluster with two containers and your one container is not working uh, as usual so uh, it will not uh, create any problem because other container will actually uh, handle all of this uh, uh, errors or problems and so that uh, your application will be running fine instead of, instead your one container is not working so this is actually called fault tolerant and your all of the data will also be replicated to the other containers so if you have two containers if uh, one container is not working then other container should have all of your data so it will replic replicate all of your data from one container to another and this is the, actually uh, the concept of the cluster so your cluster will actually handle all of these scenarios so finally you will achieve a uh, high available scalable and fault tolerant architecture using this db cluster so let's uh, start this tutorial so at first you need to clone this repo uh, so here in this repo you can see there is a docker file uh, which contains the mysql server and there is a setup sql file uh, where i have actually created a user and allowed the user as uh, as an admin so that it will actually uh, it will have all privileges and here in the docker file i have copied the scale file so when this container will be run then it will automatically create the user and attach the permission and this is the docker compose file so we need to actually uh, run this docker compose we need to apply this yml file so you will get this uh, github repo in the video description and i will also add the blog tutorial link in the video description where you can get all of the commands and all of the uh, steps so at first we need to open the repository and we need to deploy the database here so as we are using mysql database so we will use mysql server image so you can see we have created this database and you can see the containers using docker ps command so here we can see two containers So this is the container name 
docker mysql db cluster mysql dev1 and this is the second container name so you can modify your uh, yml file here you can change the ports you can add new container here so i'm using two containers here you can also change the volumes and if you don't want to change then you just need to apply using docker compose document so now we need to exit the container so we'll use the first container as a primary container so we'll exit into the container and then we need to log in using mysql shell command here the user is cluster admin and we need to provide the password so you can get the password here this is CL admin yes so we are now in the mysql shell here we need to at first check the configuration so we can see here uh, we don't have any cluster the status is error so we need to actually configure the instance as there are two containers so we need to configure two instance this is the first one so do you want to perform the required configuration changes yes do you want to restart the instance after configuration yes so it will actually restart and i will uh, actually i'll be out from the container and yes uh, so i'm actually out of the container and we need to check the container so we can see the container one is not uh, running so we need to actually restart the container manually so this one is step one I have just started it manually so now it's running fine let's log in again this time we will add the second instance so it will list up the second container and we need to restart it manually so we need to check first so here we can see the second container is not running and we need to manually start the container and right now both containers are running fine so now we need to create the cluster we will create a cluster called db cluster
so we can see cluster successfully created let's check the status and we can see uh, the mode is single primary so yes this uh, status is also online and we have created the cluster and now we need to add the second instance so we'll add the instance second instance here and the recovery method will be clone so it's adding the cluster it's copying all of the file and then uh, it will actually restart it so let's check i think it uh, it has restarted we need to manually start it again And we can see the cluster is the container is running here and we can see uh, the instance was successfully added to the cluster and we can see here there are uh, two containers one is primary and another is secondary so we need to test uh, the cluster right now so we will create a database and then we will create a table insert some data from first container and then we will actually exec into the second container and check the database like uh, if, if it has replicated the data or not so we'll create a data in first container and then we'll actually see the data from the second container so that we can ensure that uh, the data is actually replicated so if you have a backend application and your backend is actually uh, inserting data or fetching data then you need to make sure that your both container actually contains the same data and it is synchronized so this is our uh, first container and we need to exit it because we will use the mysql cli to create the database So we we'll use my skill CLI and the user is same, the password is also same. At first we need to create a database. Our database name will be developer. Then we'll create a table. At first we need to select the database, use developer. So you can see we have created a table here. And then we will insert data. So we can see there is a uh, data here that we uh, have inserted recently and this is from the first container now let's exit it and we'll exec into the second container 
that is step two and we will use the same username and same password then we need to check uh, the database the table and the data so if we check the data then we'll inch will actually be sure that our database and tables are already there so we don't need to actually check the database and table we will just check the data only select store from we have created the table in container one that is called dev and yeah we need to select the database use developer so as the de uh, developer database is already there so we can see we are in the database and then we need to paste the data because we have already inserted the data in container one we can easily paste the data in container 2 because uh, whatever we are inserting in container 1 or container 2 it will be replicated automatically so here we can see the data is there and we can see it from container 2 so that means we have successfully created the db cluster in docker So this is the purpose of this tutorial. We have successfully get, created the DB cluster in Docker. And then uh, as we have created it, then we can actually connect it with our uh, multi tier application. And then we can actually achieve uh, the high availability and scalability uh, in our architecture. So this is the end of this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon in the next tutorial.